And so we're back for the TI-8384 calculator tutorial. This time I'm going to go through graphing features. It's called a graphing calculator. We probably should learn how to use it. Now here we were on the home screen. You don't have to clear out the home screen. It's not hurting you to have all those numbers there. No big deal. Now we're going to go up here to the Y equals button and we're going to press it. And while I'm on the subject, you should note that all of these buttons up here are the graphing buttons. So every time you want to graph on your calculator, these are the buttons you want to look at. So in the Y equals button is where you enter your functions. So let's just make up a function. Suppose I want to graph the line 2x minus 3. So I type 2, and then this button right here, it's x, t, looks like a 0, but it's actually the Greek letter theta, n. You hit that one, and it pops up with an x minus, oh, I don't know, I did minus 3. Enter. There we go. Now see how the equal sign is dark? That means that that function is going to get graphed. Now where do you go to see the graph of it? Well, right over here on the far right, there's a button called graph. So if you hit it, it graphs the function for you, just like that. Now what are some of these other buttons? Well, another really nice button is in blue, right above the graph, it says table. So you can hit that second table. And this is a table of points. You can go up, you can go down. Isn't that great? And it tells you that when x was 0, for example, y was negative 3. When x is 1, y is negative 1. It's giving you a whole table of values for that line right there. Very, very nice. Let's see, we could also learn about the window button. Now when you look at our regular graph, our regular graph was going from negative 5 to 5, negative 10 to 10. Well, you can go to the window and change that. There's my x min, it was negative 5 to 5. Let's suppose I want it to be negative, type negative, 3 to 3. And I want to go from down here, negative 5 to 5. Now the SCL thing, SCL stands for scale. So in other words, when I graph it, every tick mark is worth 1 on the y-axis, and every tick mark is worth 1 on the x-axis. This is fine. This is only going to give me a few tick marks. If you want to change them, let's say you're go if you're going from 0 to 1,000, then you might make each tick mark worth 100, say, or something like that. So let me press graph, and you can see I have one, two, three, four, five tick marks because each tick mark is worth one. Over here I have three tick marks because each tick mark is worth one and I'm only going to three. So that's the window button. Now suppose you don't like this. You want the basic, basic window, the, the default window for the calculator. That's what the zoom button is for. So you click zoom. And the zoom that I use the most often by far is number six, zoom standard. Let me hit that. Now, this is the way all menus work, so let me just show you. You can go down to it, get the 6 so that the 6 is dark, and press Enter. Or, even when you're at the very top, let me show you, if you just press the number 6, it happens automatically. It's called a hotkey. There you go. Negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10. Each tick marker is worth 1. That is the standard regular window. The other two features you might use a lot are calc, C-A-L-C, it's above your trace button, and table set. Let me show you table set first. Table set sets up the table, as in this table that's right above the graph button. You can see that I'm going to start at zero. This little triangle means change. It means every step is going to be worth one. And you want to leave these on auto. So make sure that those are dark on auto. Calculate has a whole bunch of features that I want to talk about in my next tutorial. How to find the maximums, how to find the minimums, and how to find intersections. So we'll save that menu. That'll be the next time we start up.